Hey there guys, uh, I'm going to do some testing on Komodo 3.12, uh, just came out not that long ago, maybe a couple days ago, something like that. Uh, just downloaded it off the net right now, I'm transferring it onto the uh, virtual machine. It's going to take a little bit, give it a couple of seconds here. Um, let's see here. There it is. Alright, uh, let's see what this installer is now has actually been made smaller. Used to be a little over 70 megs, now it's 38.6. So it's actually gotten smaller and that's good for all the people on dial-up and all that. Of course if you install the antivirus you're still gonna have to download the over 100 meg database. But because it's a new installer I'm gonna go through it with you guys probably in three or four videos. I got some uh, brand new malware links. We're going to test it out, see how well it works, and uh, let's uh, get started here. This is my first review, so uh, be gentle on the comments. Uh, I'm trying to get it as best as I can, but we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully everything goes smoothly and uh, we won't have any problems with anything. Of course, I haven't activated uh, Windows. This is uh, Service Pack 3 XP. Uh, that's all it's got on it. It doesn't have any of the updates or anything like that. It was a slipstream Service Pack 3. So whatever was updated up to then. All right, let's see here. Install goes pretty quick. Uh, I got a fairly fast computer here, so it shouldn't take that long. Uh, update, that's going to go quicker for me than it will for most people because I'm a pretty good connection on the, the net here so you won't have to worry about much stuff. I'm um, just gonna take care of the... oh, gotta turn on the old network card here. Give me one second. There we go. Up and connected now. So as you can see it's connecting. Right there. Alright, let's see. Uh, usual stuff. Optional email if you want to enter it. It's up to you. Uh, we're gonna install the antivirus and the firewall. We're not gonna install the 30-day trial of the PC support. Uh, we will join the Threadcast community. I am not going to install the Hopsurf toolbar or any of the other options right here on this page with you. Uh, I'm not going to go, you know what, I think I'm going to test the DNS servers because right now they are uh, free and uh, we'll see what uh, how they work at protecting us by the, as an addition to Komodo. Alright, let's see here probably going to ask me to restart and if it does I'll uh, pause the video and I'll come back after it uh, starts restarting here see what happens yep there you go it's going to ask me to restart the computer and I'll be right back alright computers uh, restarting right now um, didn't take too long so see how long it takes here if uh, we get any effects on our startup speeds but I highly doubt it. I've used uh, Komodo Internet Security before and I have uh, it's been very good on uh, resource usability um, haven't had any real big impacts on the system resources so that's a good thing especially with uh, some bloatware that's out there these days but it seems to like everybody's getting their act together so uh, that's good for everybody. Let's see here alright discover the network here going to name it whatever it decides on naming it that's uh, fine during this test I'm also going to keep everything in stock format I'm not going to mess with any of the settings I'm not going to go to uh, proactive security and none of that stuff I'm going to test it just like it comes out of the box uh, right under internet security all I'm going to do is I'm going to update the virus definitions and uh, it's going to take a little bit of time uh, jumps to 30% just to let everybody know really fast and then it sits there for a while and then the last couple of seconds it just jumps all the way now I've ran this update before and I know that after the virus uh, database gets updated it's gonna ask me to restart again so I'm gonna pause the video again when it restarts and uh, we'll go from there of course uh, XP's telling me that it's out of date which is good it's uh, good that it's actually letting you know about this stuff uh, sometimes you never know uh, some malware has been known to disable that feature to tell you that uh, you, your antivirus is not up to date and all sorts of screwy stuff so it's a good thing it tells us let's see here how long it takes let's uh, 
take a look at the task manager so we can see what kind of memory usage we're getting. Alright, we got uh, uh, two services here as I can tell. Yep, the rest of these, the VMware, that stuff, that's for the virtual machine. So we're going to get a little bit of usage out of that. But out of that, we're having um, not even close to 30 megs. And I have a feeling when it's done updating and doing all, all of its stuff, that's going to go down. I've actually seen it as low as 7 or 8 megabytes uh, while it's running. But right now, because it's updating, I have a feeling it's actually using some more RAM than it normally does. I haven't activated Windows here, and I don't think I'm gonna, mainly because <laughs> right now, the way as much as I'm messing with this virtual machine, it would be no point. All right, let's see how the network is doing. Make sure this thing's actually doing its thing, and it is. What would be nice, and this is a comment for Komodo, is maybe get some kind of countdown here and a better uh, update bar so it doesn't jump. But I do know that version four is coming out sometime or betas I would expect it sometime late in the year uh, maybe early next year I would hope that this is getting fixed because for some people they they don't know what's happening they think it's stopped um, they're just not sure about what's going on what would be nice too is to get something integrated where it tells you how many kilobytes per second you're actually downloading so for people who are on dial-up and whatever they know that they're actually downloading to their maximum capability another thing that I've seen is people in other countries not in the US who have dial-up are actually or just broadband connections that aren't very fast are actually regulated to their uh, allotted maximum transfer uh, could be a gig you know a couple of gigabytes a month whatever it is these updates being so large is having a profound effect on those people because they actually have to pay more to get their updates the first time. Um, what would be nice is maybe shrink the updates, pack them in a packer, um, something to get these updates going a little faster. Hopefully though, as Komodo works on their security system, they'll get better um, generic signatures and the security signatures like the signatures for the antivirus will actually go down because right now they're at about five point a little over 5.8 million when in reality you really don't need more than 3 million signatures to protect the computer decently so hopefully as some of their technology that they're implementing comes into play it'll get better and better now I'm not trying to bore you guys here with a long video you know oh my god look he's watching it. I'm trying to give you guys a realistic measure on how long it takes to update these. And there you go. It actually finished. Now I am on a 6 megabit connection so it takes a little even for me to do it. So right now it's going to ask me to restart and once this uh, goes to restart I'm going to pause the video and then uh, I'll come back. Is it going to restart, or do I have to restart this thing? I think I have to restart it. It'd be nice if it would restart it, have a restart button there for you, and it would do it automatically. But I guess it just tells you to do it. Kind of weird, but whatever. All right, so uh, I'll be back, and uh, I'll see you in a few.